decided to make a quick video here showing some of my flea market finds today. Now these are uh, some sharpening stones. The ones that I have aligned vertically here, those I got as a, as one grab. I got them for eight bucks. The guy did throw in this, you know, wire drill bit, Gauge. this glass cutter. It's a red devil and this nice metal rule, good thick metal rule, very clearly marked. So eight for those and these three guys here. Then the ones that I have aligned horizontally. I got them for five. This he wanted three for this one. Uh, this was at a different a different booth, and he wanted um, two for this one. It's got a little bit of tag left on there. I'm gonna try to figure out what that what that might have said. These five all appear to be natural stones. Questionable on this one. I'm gonna have to clean it up a bit and look. And these here all appear to be some sort of synthetic oxide. These two are both coarse. These ones, they're a little quicker. They're, they're not as coarse. Now what I like about that is taken with stuff I had, I had bought previously, I now have a very healthy collection of sharpening implements. We got this got that. These are both really, really hard and got quick. this little guy here. And that groove in it, it's actually for sharpening like small wood carving tools. So we'll just call that our naturals and we'll call these our synthetics. Now this guy. Um this is from Washita. This is a model that I can't find for sale anymore. Got a nice little file that goes with it. This this has helped take some nicks out. And I had to modify it a bit. What I had to do firstly is because I found that sitting in the cut of this, when I work it, this would shift around. So I put together this little chain assembly so that I can slide this block in there so that it stays nice and stable the second thing i did is while it did come with while it did come with these ceramic rods i i stuffed some springs down in there so that they're easier to get out and then those of course go right there like that and that's that's the difference between this and the models they currently sell like they sell they sell one of these just just like that as it is, but without the holes and without the ceramic rods included inside of that. Now they sell those separately. So I'm glad I was able to find this one on eBay for, well, it was, if I recall right, it was a better price uh, at the time than what buying the two things separately would have cost. On this side here, I also tacked on a strop here. I got a couple little tools I'm going to be needing for when I build my new mailing stand. Got a few different little pliers. Hog ring pliers. These are incredibly useful. This I would really like to get it to focus. There we go. They have that little groove in them. This is what they look like. They're used for closing rings, and these will really kind of help you correct shape and correct any stray, any kind of like splay that happens when you're flattening rings. And then some little nippers here, and I like this kind. I don't like the side snips. This kind I find works a lot better. What I'll be doing is, is about a little bit in there, you know, maybe a, uh, a 16th to an eighth of an inch in, I'll be drilling a hole. And that will let me step over wire that I've mandled and clip 
so that it overlaps so that the lines are doing that and not doing that and it lets me easily cut it that way one thing i really liked is i got this hammer <laughs> look at that thing holy it has lingettes one of them you know okay one of them just kind of butts up against the front the other one goes up underneath here and peens over on this side it has a magnet with a place for a couple of different kind of nails to be held there a decent claw and it needs you know it all and it needs some work but look at that i got that for two dollars i'm happy about that one i also got one of these guys i always forget what these things are called use them for putting depressions uh i don't i don't always use this piece on the end here sometimes i just get it get a, a little sheet of metal c clamp down on to here really good on two sides and i come in with something like a ball peen a small ball peen rest it on there and then hit it with a larger hammer to get a nice smooth dimple and it lets you shape knuckles really well if you open it up you can usually use the groove too with the cold chisel to put sort of a, a line between two dents i might i might throw up a picture of what one of these things that i've made for kind of stitching on the gloves looks like That's about it. I'm a long way from from rebuilding my mailing stand. But I've gotten a good start. All right, have a good one.